So when I originally found out that I wasn't going to be physically active how I used to be, uh, it took a big toll on my mental health. Depression set in, anxiety, and it just became a world that I really didn't want to live in until I found adaptive sports and that kind of gave me a motivation, said I could still be who I was, I just had to do it differently. What stands out about Jay is that she's gone through many of the same things what these participants, including myself, have gone through. They're, uh, you know, wrestling with uh, depression, uh, not knowing what they're capable of, and that's what's good about this clinic, you get them out there and show them what they're capable of. Through the years, I've done a lot of different adaptive sports, including Nordic cross country and biathlon, swimming, cycling, rock climbing, track and field. I could keep going, there's a lot. <laughs> Anything I can do besides sitting volleyball and tennis, those just aren't my things. Originally, I was a sit skier, and because of my shoulder injury, it was just too much work, so being able to switch over to snowboarding reminds me of my childhood out surfing, so snowboarding is definitely my favorite by far. Beautiful turn. Going down the mountain today was just spectacular. It reminded me of a great day on the beach, just riding the waves. I think Jay is deserving of the Freedom Award because of her indomitable spirit and her ability to uh, be competitive in after disability. We're not necessarily disabled, we're just differently able. To have organizations like the VA and DAV put on an event like this is liberating for veterans. We know we're gonna be in safe hands. You understand what we go through. And without this, a lot of people probably wouldn't get out there. The adaptive sports saved my life. To the volunteers and sponsors, you might not always hear us say it, but thank you. I know it can be hard working with us. We can be a little difficult at times. So a big thank you from all of us.